Hello folks, I'm Dan. Working on the flap handles today. I'm gonna turn the knob for it. I've shortened up the handle already. Shortened up the flap handle to the proper length, getting ready to sandblast it and powder coat it, but I want to make a knob to go on the top of it. So what I'm gonna do is just turn a little aluminum knob, fits down in, I'll put a probably a set screw or a pair of set screws in it. Probably just one will be sufficient. Uh, to set that in there, lock it in place, it'll be down below the um, outer housing of this handle, and that way it's it's captive there, it can't get away. Uh, once we've get every, got everything situated, why we might Loctite that in place with some blue Loctite just to make sure it doesn't back out and bind on the handle itself, but uh, I think it'll be pretty evident we'll be able to tell with, with pre-flight inspections and that type of thing if, if that's sticky. Um, so we're just going to turn a little handle, set down recessed in, or a little thumb switch um, up on top. I think I've got some inch round aluminum stock here. I'm going to turn the outer diameter down to I believe three quarters of an inch and we'll recess it down in there and give it a nice little shape that's kind of comfortable to your thumb. Maybe something that I take and uh, eventually set up in the mill and uh, in the CNC mill and engrave it 701 or Zenith or something if if I become so inclined just to, to dress it up a little bit. Alright I've made just a little quick sketch of what I'm doing. I don't know how well this is going to show up. Yeah, maybe that'll do something. Anyway, about 9 inch long shoulder and I'm going to turn this in reverse. I'm going to turn the back end. Then I'll probably part it off or cut it off and then contour the top edge of it. Um, 9 tenths of an inch is what the step's going to be. It needs to be half inch. And I've got the cut off piece from the, from the top of the existing handle so I can use it as a gauge to do a test fit on it. So we're just going to turn it down and uh, close those dimensions and we'll do a final fit. This is a one-off thing so there's no production value to it so I won't worry about setting anything up production wise. We'll just uh, very quickly lay it out and go from there. And that'll be our where we turn it down to a half inch diameter. I think I will put a shop apron on. Now we can hold things the way we're supposed to. Nothing real precision about this. We just want to turn it down to diameter that we want so that it's a nice slit fit in there. We'll probably get a little bit of powder coat build up so we can do a little bit of a loose fit on it. All right, well, we've got our piece cut off from the bandsaw. We've turned it around in the chuck, and we're just going to face the end of it off so it's true, and then we'll start contouring it a little bit. I don't know, I've got some lathe bits that have already been cut and contoured for different applications. I may use one of those. We may just kind of freehand this. There again, one-off type of situation. It's not that critical a thing.
Okay, let me run this over to the buffer and polish it up just a little bit, and then let's take a look and see what it looks like. All right. Well, here's our little piece, all polished up on the ends where it needs to be. And this is the way it will fit into our button. Thumb operated, of course. And that should give it plenty of travel there. What I think I'm going to do is I've left enough distance to go down inside so the retaining pin will be down underneath this so it'll, you won't be able to see the the pin holding it i'm going to use a set screw on it and what i'm going to do is go ahead and disassemble this before i sandblast it to powder coat the the rest of the handle and i'm going to go ahead and drill that to retain that set screw i'm not going to drill into the cap yet because i think what i may do with this uh the rest of the handle will be powder coated red and I may very well anodize this a translucent red so we've got a kind of a little bit of a contrast a little bit brighter knob right on top and anodize it and then it'll go in the CNC mill and I will probably engrave uh, 701 or depending on how small I do it I'll run a couple of test pieces I may put Xena 701 or Zenith I don't know yet but probably 701 is what I will engrave on the top so I'll we'll go ahead and get that engraving done and then once everything's in position and I know where it's going to sit why well, then I can index that lettering up so that it's oriented right and not just cockeyed off into space there so I'll orient it then I'll go back and drill that and tap that for a set screw probably 1032 is uh, probably be sufficient for a, for a set screw for that. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, sandblast and powder coat the rest of the rest of the parts for the handle, and then we can get it installed into the plane. Well, we've got our parts powder coated. We've got our spacers in, our springs in, the right length bolts with a few little changes. Um, always chance for some modifications, but let me show you what we've got here. This will be our flat panel. We still don't have our Perfect, perfect. Probably not perfect, but uh, it will be very nice. We'll have to put the put a longer bolt in there with washers on it. Polished a handle that has not been fitted yet. But there we go. I think I like it. So now we'll go ahead and lay out our hole spacing to rivet it in down here and up here and we'll go ahead and get it fitted into the airplane. Well here we are installed in the plane all riveted in place. Our position seems to work very smoothly. I'm very happy with it. Still have to build the linkage off of this end but we're in place. I'll go back through and scuff it up and touch up the primer. Uh, I went ahead and drilled this for a set screw clearance hole and once I get this engraved then I can index it up the way I want it and then go ahead and uh, drill and tap it for a set screw and it'll be captive underneath. It's down underneath the outer housing of the handle itself. But there'll be a few more little adjustments to it but uh, all in all I think I've got it just about where I want it. So. Anyway, that's going to wrap this up for right now until we get the wings and the flap, flapperons installed and we start making adjustments to them and, and um, setting up our travel and everything. So I'm going to, for right now, call this, this portion done. So thanks for taking the time to watch. If you enjoyed these and find them helpful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up and a like. Any comments you've got, I look forward to hearing them in the, in the comment section below.